Hello, welcome to Learning with David. So today we are going to create an employee database and let's just get into the work. Uh, first of all, we are going to create a table. Table and we will name our table employee. And in our table, we'll create an ID column and give it the value of our job and maybe the size of 5 in name Oopsie. I made a mistake right. department phone number and address yeah so this is it I've created a table now we need to insert some data into the table so insert into employee values line base now change it so I think I should change the names dub The cities, I should change them also of oh, Barcelona. Bangalore, my store. Okay, yeah, so let me display the table distinctly. Oh gosh, distinctly so that it won't duplicate, it won't be duplicated. From employee. employee. So when I run it, I get this table. Right. So the next question is to display only the ID and the name of the employees. So select this thing. We use this thing for not for the record not to be duplicated oh. distinct ID run name from employee so if I run it I can see the output here nice 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 now we are going to display only where the address is equal to Bangalore so select this thing star from employee so this is going to display everything from the employee and sort out only where the address is equal to Bangalore so by adding this line it only select where the address is equal to Bangalore pretty much like English so here we go and the next question is 
Select where the address is not equal to Bangalore. Select this thing from employee where address is not equal to Bangalore. Okay. So um, the symbol I just used here doesn't make much sense, but if you check this place, if you know the operators in SQL, it will make better sense. So there is the equal operator, the not equal operator, the greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, between, like and in. And we are going to make use of pretty much every one of them. But in this case, we make make use of few of them, not everyone. So yeah, it's very important for you to know them. So when I run it, uh, I will find that the address is not equal to Bangalore in two records. So yeah, and the next question is to select where the address is equal to Bangalore or Mysore. So select distinct from employee. Okay, I'm having fun doing this. Where address. Address is equal to Bangalore. is equal to myself. Hey, I want to be a teacher if I grow up. When I grow up, what am I saying? If I grow up, when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. And I don't know why this is not running. It's my second time doing this. But I don't know why it's not running. Let me check the syntax. Yeah, I'm right. Select everything from OK. Yeah, I'm right. Right. OK. I don't know why this is not displaying. Or maybe it will come later. Let me just move on. But this syntax is very much correct. And uh, you can try it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. And the next question is where name starts with S. Okay. We don't have any name that starts with S here. But we are going to use the like. Is the like operator which is going to search for a pattern so I'm going to edit our um, our employee table and put a name which starts from with S like Steve so it should be true so select this thing star from employee no, your name like S percentage. Yeah. So the S percentage means starts with S, then continues. The percentage means the remaining, the rest of the name. Like the name starts with S percentage. If you want to put it ends with S, you put percentage S. So yeah, S percentage. Then I put my semicolon, then I run it. And yeah, you can see Steve. And I still don't know why the Bangalore and MISO, the combination of Bangalore and MISO is not displaying, but it's correct. So yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Mm, and where the name is equal to Mary. The next question is to display the 
record of the employee where the name is equal to Mary. So select distinct star from employee. Where name is equal to Mary. Now I run it. And here we go. We are Mary here. Cool. And the next thing is to order um to display the addresses in an ascending order. And in SQL we have different uh, operators and all which makes it easy for you to make certain um, operations yeah so will you select this thing i'm tired of saying select this thing star from employee with the order order by address Ascending. Okay, so I will put certain links in the description whereby you can find out what and all the operators I've used here. You can go read about them. But yeah, this is how to order. Oops. This is the syntax. Put select the column name from table name, order by column name ascending or descending so it will be very important if you know it so the name then when i run it here we go it has been ordered according to the alphabet you can see the address were ordered in alphabet letter bangalore 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 barcelona my soul and the next thing we are asked to do here is to add the fees, a, co a new column called fees. So we have to alter the table, table students. Um, okay. Fees, voucher, uh, 20. <laughs> student sorry I also have used employee okay yeah so I've added a new table called M I've added a new column called fees the employee uh, if you doubt it I can show it to you that I'm not lying that I've added it Okay, so well, I'm getting very comfortable doing this. I think I should become a YouTuber. Okay, so the fees come up and I added. And I need to add some stuff into the fees column so that it will look good, you know. So I will update it. Update employee. Set fee to be equal to twenty five thousand. We the address is equal to Bangalore. So according to our question, they said uh, we should update the fees to be twenty five thousand. We are the address is equal to Bangalore. So. Yeah, we translated it into code and here it is. So if I press F8, I oopsie. Okay, fees. Sorry. I keep on making typographical errors. Okay, yeah. 
peas. Oh, yes, I also display the new table. Okay, let me just do this. Cut and paste. That won't confuse you. Okay, so the table has been updated and the 25,000 were updated for David, Mary and Steve such lucky bastards oh, I'm sorry I'm getting too comfortable now ok now we have to remove the phone column and okay, so to remove the phone column you have to alter the table called employee and remove oh not remove drop column phone and I select distinctively I press F8 and I'm done with the program thank you for watching if you liked it drop a like and make sure to subscribe peace